Hey, Dwight Clow here, Inner Wealth. Um, uh, some time ago, a pretty famous Christian, if I mentioned the name, you'd know who it was, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, had a quote, and I'm not going to quote exactly, but I'm going to paraphrase what this person said. Um, this person said that uh, the problem that Christians run into, the problem that followers of Jesus have, is they act out of their emotions instead of acting out of what they know. That if people would stop acting out of their emotions and instead act out of what they know to be true, then we'd have a lot less problems and Christians would get into a lot less trouble. And, um, uh, you know, on the surface it sounds like very good advice. And certainly, you know, if our emotions are telling, if my emotions were telling me to go jump in bed with somebody that's not my wife, uh, I hope I would act out of what I know instead of acting out of my emotions. I mean, you know, if my emotions were telling me to go break into somebody's house or to rob somebody, and the only thing I had to go on was what I know, you know, that's a bad idea, don't do it, then I hope I would act on what I know. But I'm going to offer a little bit of pushback to this idea, to this quote from this famous Christian. And uh, I'm going to suggest instead that there is a third alternative. And the third alternative is let's try to figure out why our emotions are telling us to do all this crazy stuff. And uh, let's invite Jesus into that why. Let's invite Jesus into these lies that we believe deep down inside that are causing us to feel all of these crazy feelings. And let's see what Jesus does with it. And that way, what we feel and what we know will come together and be one thing. And then we can act out of what we feel and what we know, and uh, our actions will be true and right and good. So anyway, that's just a brief thought from me. Um, for those of you who are uh, subscribed to Inner Wealth, I just want to let you know that this uh, uh, coming Saturday, we're opening a new video series. You know, a lot of people talk about our identity in Christ. and. You know, that's supposed to be good news. The problem is we learn about our identity in Christ and then it doesn't take. You know, it doesn't seem to make any difference. It doesn't do anything for us. Well, I'm going to be tackling the question of why is that? What can we do about it? How can we fix it? So anyway, I uh, hope all of this is helpful to you. Have a super day.